Coming and she's this coming is. to Montreal on May 11th, and I would urge everyone to go. Hallelujah. And she's no, she's the best uh, Verdi soprano, I think, right now in the world. And uh, she's fantastic. And I'm, I know I'm being very, I'm not a being objective. The, <laughs> but, but is, is there a dinner fantastic. involved? In there this? is a dinner. There is a dinner. I assure you, this man gives the best dinner parties in the city, uh, without a doubt. Well, Power Corp's giving the dinner. I, I twist the dinner <laughs> That's but, nice. <laughs> but there's three or four of us that are sponsoring this. And, uh, so. Oh, it's not a party. It's it's a concert. You mean about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you mean Sandra Radovanovsky? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it look it's it's May 11th. I'm I'm so touched by this evening. That if you call us up, we will give you tickets for free. Oh God! In order, in order to help the economy. But the the but the seriously. This, What's your it, number? It's, <laughs> it's in the book. The, um, no, but it's it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm sorry that I'm very enthusiastic about these things. But she is. She's actually. I'll just tell you a story about her. She lives in Toronto, with her husband, whose name is Duncan. And I didn't know her. And then about four years ago, we did a concert at uh, Concordia, Rick Renault and I, and it was to help Concordia, I think, at the time, and to help um, Yannick Seguin, who was a fantastic conductor. Mm -hmm. And we did Verdi's Requiem. Mm -hmm. And the last minute, I, we had a soprano, and she canceled out. I called somebody I knew in New York, and they said, look, you should try her. She actually lives in Toronto. And that's how I first met Sandra. And she had just done Cyrano at the Met, and then she did it with, with Placido in London. And uh, anyway, she's an incredible singer, not very well known. And, and, and I don't want to say anything bad about people that just passed away, but the previous head of the Canadian Opera Company didn't like her and never hired her. So here you've got this incredible soprano living in Toronto who's never been hired in her hometown. And, you know, she goes to the Met, she sings with, with Placido, and she sang in Milan, and she sang in, in London, and so she's got to do something right, right? And uh, she's had a great career. She sang in Washington, where I'm still involved, and she's, she's done, sung all over the world. But anyways, the first time she came to Canada was at this concert that we gave uh, in April, I guess it was 06, uh, which was sang... Trovatore, by the way, is the one with the gypsies banging yeah. the anvils. So you all da 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 da. da you know. So it's a lot of fun, and and we're not going to do that, but we will do. <laughs> we will do. <laughs> no gypsies, no anvils. Although I like steel here, but 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 uh, but we are. Um, she is going to sing this, and uh, I hope you all make it. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, and you can just you know get on your feet and bang your hands together. And Thank you very like much, Hans. Good to have you. Bring your hands.